So, how long have you ladies been uh, cosplaying? Uh, she's been a lot longer than me. I started back in 2008, 2009, just as a cosplayer. Um, you know, pretty much a difference between myself and I think a lot of other cosplayers. Like, like, I do a different character like almost every convention, but I don't really spend um, the whole year in the same outfit. Uh, but I've been like doing this comic since it was the uh, end of 2008, which is 2009. I started about 2010. and. And uh, we are introduced from a website, uh, busygamer.com. Okay. And ever since we've been BFFs, we've been doing it at the hip. She's my costumer in crime, is what I call her. Is that right? Yeah, you guys do make a perfect, like, best friend couple. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we definitely know how to get in trouble and uh, have a good time. Okay, so you guys, you guys been reading comics since you was a kid? You guys are in the, you guys are in the reading comics? Thing is, like, Who's your favorite comic book? I own every Catwoman. I'm going to go ahead and admit that. Um, okay. I, I wouldn't say they're the best. I think the most popular anyone from Gotham City is most popular, no matter villain or hero. But my favorite is probably the Punisher series, the Punisher Maxes. Those are probably go, my favorite. Yeah, that's a little yeah, good. A little yeah. drive you think it really hard, do you know? Oh, no, no, I'm just letting her finish. I'll let you guys look at this. Actually, my favorite, uh, most of my favorite comic book uh, characters are usually the anti heroes. Like Prince Namor, the Sun Mariner, is like my favorite character, and also Jack Russell, the werewolf by night. Um, I was actually in the Monsters, in the uh, uh, Legion of Monsters, before I got into Indian superheroes. Um, I didn't even know about Batgirl or Batman until the cartoon. I got into the Batman comics after I got into the cartoon, so I was kind of like bloomer, but I had well, everything back all pretty much. Did you guys get into it by yourself, or do you guys have brothers and dads that went into yeah. it? Crazy uh, deep I pretty much started off reading Archie comics, comics just as a little girl, and, and then just kind of transitioned and from like Archie right, yeah, to Sabrina, and, and like, then straight into Legion of the Monsters. I was into, like I said, Little by Night, and Morbius, and Little Green Fire, so I went from knowing the monsters, and then reading like, oh, well, Marvel's got other comic characters, and just X-Men stuff. So I, can't be the first I know you do a, a radio show uh, when you're not doing cosplay and doing conventions. How is that? I know you like doing that. It's pretty fun. A uh, few years ago, I was approached by the Loud Idiot out of New Jersey to do a, kind of a segment on their um, podcast every Tuesday. And I did that for about three or four years, but due to my new job, I don't do that anymore. But now I am uh, hosting and producing like, uh, an all-girl like video podcast. Yes, it's called Fan Girl Games the Round Table. And it's pretty much just uh, a bunch of my girlfriends yeah. well, and like just sit there for an hour and talk about so movies, movies video the, games. We just bullshit for an hour. Oh, it sounds like a lot of fun. Lars, what else can you do when you're not cosplaying? I'm a full-time artist. I uh, have an art commission business, and I'm an art director, so I do graphic art. And uh, my 24-7 kind of job is artwork day in, day out. And so, yeah, the costuming, I think it just kind of falls in the category. It's still a form of art, and you're still being crafty. And so, yeah, I get to do what I love day in, day out. I love it. Awesome, awesome. Is there any uh, other, is there any other projects you guys are doing? Any other uh, conventions you guys are doing right, uh, in the coming up future? Yeah, we got band days coming up uh, first weekend of October over in Dallas. Oh, yeah. Um, my, my birthday is in the first week of October. Really? Early birthday. Thank you. Actually, yeah, it's Saturday. We have band days. We're coming up again. Uh, we're doing our Disney villains, hopefully with no malfunctions that we did here. Luckily, we were able to see what was going to be happening. So oh, yeah. We have a big Disney villains group we're doing out now. We don't want to talk about that. And then uh, we're doing a big trouble in Little China movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I can say. Or thank you for um, all the nerds. You know, you guys uh, make us nerds look good. You know, back in the days, we didn't have uh, beautiful girls. You know, supporting nerd. You know. I'm sure uh, you did. Yeah. We did. We didn't know about it right now. You didn't yeah. know about the girl. Back about in the day, that. I wasn't a beautiful girl. Like I'm a very late bloomer. Like I call bullshit. No, I, I'll show you. <laughs> um, 
I grew up overweight, wearing braces with thick lashes. These are actually bifocals, but you can't tell because now we have you know better lines. So uh, if it wasn't for someone in my life who was dear to me, uh, who didn't make me feel better about myself, I probably wouldn't have come out of my shell. But I've always just kind of been me. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, is there any, uh, I know you guys, do you, do you collect toys? I know Catherine collects toys. Do you like collecting uh, toys as well? Yeah, I'm guilty. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of toys? Bobbleheads or do you like uh, action figures? Or? Um, it's more action figures. And actually, I'm a very big fanatic over Pez dispensers. And I have a wall of Pez dispensers, literally. Oh, yeah. I probably own like a hundred. And it's like my addiction every time I go to Walmart or any of those stores, I have to hit the Pez aisle for where the Pez is. And I would dig through every, like, I, like pinhole of them, like, I have to dig through and see what's in there. So, yeah. I'm a guilty pleasure. Like, it's a story. So, um... I've, I've got them at home. Let's I mean, see. I don't, I don't know if they're when you guys, uh, you guys ever go to uh, uh, premieres of uh, comic book movies, or you guys have been asked uh, to promote, help promote uh, any of the comic book movies? Really good stuff. Yeah, but I don't think I've actually like gone to any of the premieres or taken part of those. Um, it's one thing whenever you're into the books and the artists and you get to meet the people, the authors themselves, but as far as how some of the movies get Hollywoodized until I get to see it before I go and represent it, I really don't want to strap my name to it yet until yeah. after I see it. So, no, I've never part took in any of those, to be honest. You guys, you guys yeah, seen the latest comic book movies that just came out, like Wolverine and Kick Ass 2? So, I haven't seen either one of them. You haven't seen, you guys seen, you haven't seen Iron Man 3? Okay. I did see Iron Man 3. How about Jeff Smith? What'd you think of Iron Man 3? Right? It was a good action movie. You liked it? Yeah. Um, I probably gave it like two and a half out of five. You know, it was a really good action movie, but there was a lot of stuff that I didn't really like. I was like, that's not happening. I heard, as I heard, I watched most of Iron Man 3, and I heard the, uh, the... I had issues with all the suits that, you know, like, he could be, like, flying, and all of a sudden his suits would just come apart and just fall in the sky, but then, like, the other times when he could, like, fall, like, from the sky or fall from somewhere and, like, land on the concrete and the suits would fall apart. So, I had little technical issues like that. I liked that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, the little things are calm. It's always the little things are calm. I didn't like in Spider-Man 3 how uh, Venom didn't refer to himself as we. And everyone was like, who cares? Exactly, but that's a very technical, yeah, it's a technical thing. Like, that's part of it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's... Only, only the people that are really into the books are really serious. They're gonna take a lot of the movie yeah, I need to go acting see my wife, like, personally, and that's kind of one of those things. It's, I even judge Game of Thrones, yeah. and I read the books. I judge yeah, no, the TV that, that series real well. bad, okay. and yeah, it has to go set for set or. I'm not happy. I'm yeah, a yeah, little yeah, fan. I'm kind of. A, <laughs> Picky nerd myself. What do you guys think of um, the Ben Affleck playing uh, Batman? I'm happy about it. Are you happy about it? I found getting good. I got to get used to it. The idea. That's how I was at first. I was just like, I'm okay with it. But the more I like, I've watched Argo three or four times since that's announced. I've watched Town a couple times since that. I've watched uh, Dogma a couple times since that. You know, like I can, I, I, I still can't see him as Bruce Wayne. But I, the Playboy version. I, I, I I haven't seen him as Bruce Wayne yet, but I can see him as the Batman, you know, because it's not, and I know there's a lot of people who are just upset about it and don't like it, but it took me, like, you know, separating him from, and I never saw Daredevil, so I can't be one of those people, and he was horrible Daredevil, I never saw it, because and I didn't care, didn't like it. you know, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see it, so I don't know, uh, but as far as, like, you know, I... I, I think we probably shouldn't judge him based on something else because, like, you know, people thought the same thing about, you know, the guy from those teen movies, Heath Ledger, playing, you know, the Joker. People thought the same thing about, you know, Michael Keaton being Batman. He was scrawny and tiny, and I thought he was perfect. You know, Robert Downey Jr. is like, you know, Tony Stark. People weren't sure, so I don't really think uh, we should really judge until it comes out, unless it's Jensen Eccles. If it's Jensen Eccles, it's going to suck. Yeah, you thought. Absolutely. Well, we're not gonna jump in that supernatural dog boat. I'll I'll, I'll steer clear of her. She could take the shanky out in the parking lot. Um, 
<laughs> alone. But uh, no, I'm I'm still struggling with the whole Ben Affleck thing. Uh, I I did watch Daredevil and. I, I I thought he could have done such a strong part in that because I've seen his acting. He he, he can be a great actor, mm-hmm. but even playing a Superman role that he could have gone and taken a far distance, he really didn't go as far as he could have. So I'm nervous. I I'm not gonna lie. So I'm kind of. It is a big deal. I'm no comment. Kind of sitting back and yeah, I'm gonna wait to see what happens because yeah, Heath Ledger. Totally proved us wrong. Like he yeah, came out of the woodwork and played his best acting. Like role I mean, ever. He became the Joker so much that pretty much killed him. Yeah, and well, it was right. that was phenomenal. Yeah, that was phenomenal, yeah. that was phenomenal for his acting. So no, I'm. I'm just gonna sit. I I really want to see what Ben could do. Like I would love to see him reach a new like par. Yeah, this reach well, a whole new yeah, level of acting. Because, yeah, you know, Batman yeah. and Bruce Wayne is two different people. Because he got the. Uh, but people look at uh, Bruce yeah. Wayne as, you know, the playboy and the guy who dates every other model and does everything. And that's what he just wants you to think is how he's like. And so, no, he, he doesn't think that he, he's Batman. And then he got Batman, who is really how Bruce Wayne is. Mm-hmm. And I think, like Jack Flash, he, he can play uh, Batman, but to play the really, uh, the really outgoing uh, Bruce Wayne. Kind of a callous Bruce Wayne. Yeah. So. It, it, it's, I'm interested to see what you do. And I'm, I'm hoping for the best. I, I prefer not to see another flop. Like, I want to see something good. Batman Forever. Yeah, I, w- I would love to I see something good. Well, uh, thanks a lot for having us, Jason. Oh, no problem. But, yeah, thanks for going checking. over, guys. We gotta keep checking. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thanks for the first you guys uh, <laughs> doing the interview with me, and I hope to see you guys next year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell was... them to invite, that, invite us back. Oh, I'll tell Steve. I'll make sure of that. <laughs> I'll threaten him not to come back to the store. <laughs> if you guys don't come back. Awesome. There you go. Take but, him down. Oh, yeah. I'll drop an elbow and then I'll uh, give him a tombstone. There you go. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. Uh-huh. Enjoy the rest of the night here in St. Louis and uh, have a safe trip back. Will awesome. do. Thank you. All right.